Hello my friends and welcome to another Disney Dreamlight Valley update video. So in this video I wanted to react to a new trailer because we did get uh, quite a few little sneak peeks in it. Also in this video we're gonna check out a couple other things uh, from the from the update and we're also gonna check out my results in Dream Snaps for the Fall Challenge which I'm very excited about. I was very very happy with how my submission turned out so if you haven't subscribed yet Click the button and let's watch the trailer. Let's see what is absolutely happening. And uh, there's some premium shop sneak peeks and a few other sneak peeks that could be interesting. Okay, I feel like the music might be copyrighted later on, but... Rediscover the Lion King realm under the new light. Love it. So we're gonna definitely do that uh, a little bit later. Might post a video on it tomorrow. There we are. They, they are... Timon and Pumba. Cannot wait to bring them to the valley, but we already knew all of this. Get get to the fun stuff. Get get to the new stuff. What is this? Wait, 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 just wait a second. What is this? Are these like drums? Or is this like pot oh that's the pottery wheel? Wait a second, are we actually going to be able to use- Nah, there is no way we're going to be able to use it. But Pumba will, apparently, because he is going to be the Pumba- the, the potter of the valley. That's- that's kind of cool. Uh, the new night show, Star Path. I have seen- I have seen a couple very, uh, like, pretty disappointing people. All of the items, every single one of them, is basically the- the show related the the rock related so there is if somebody was hoping for at least a couple seasonal halloween items that did not happen honestly and also this was supposed to be a shorter update but now we're gonna have to wait until basically december to get the sally update which still potentially have a chance to bring some seasonal items so i'm not giving my hope up uh the the, the swole on the back looks sick i didn't even realize we had that in star path like, some of the items are incredible, especially the pyrotechnics, the water fountains, all of these lights. It could be used to decorate, not just, like, even if you're not into rock, there are still uh, incredible items for your valley. And uh, for 500 moonstones, well, technically it's 510. Uh, I calculated the real cost of the star path. It's a little bit higher, usually it's 400. This time it's 510 because it's smaller, but we're also getting less uh, motifs. So overall, I still feel like it's it's very worth it. I would definitely recommend getting it. Uh, here is all the items in the, in in the glory. Oh my god, that looks good. That stage looks sick. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have a dream snap soon for for this. We got the lo lounge fly, three new backpacks, two two of them are free, one of them is premium shop and one of them is uh, the code. There is the code, if you haven't equipped it yet, do it right now. New items arrive in the premium shop, okay, this one I'm very excited about. So we're getting uh, like a little fox skin that looks kind of like a dragon, I guess. We get uh, the new skin for Goofy Stole, which is right now in the premium shop. Now this house... It has Moana's logo. That looks pretty cool, actually. Another, like, beach desert-style building. We got another organ, or is it this? No, this is not the same organ. This is def definitely a different organ. Uh, the tool set looks... Interesting, I gotta say. Pretty interesting. It is it the same as last year? It kind of looks similar, but I don't think it's the same. Pumpkins on the box. Not sure what that is all about. It looks like the pumpkins we already have, but I don't think we can put them on a box. Or can we? Nah, maybe we can. Is that a different gazebo? Or am I... I don't know. I, I'm tr I, I'm looking at everything and I'm like, Oh, are these new items or not? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the house skin looks pretty interesting. It's like witch house, but also like mushroom house. And I see some pants. On the string on the top. That's awesome. All right. All right. Some some pretty cool looking items. They didn't spoil everything. Okay. Now they probably did. Oh, these windows are good. 
These windows are good for indoors. What is this giant flask, glowing flask? Another fireplace, which honestly looks exactly like the other fireplace we have, just with a slightly different reskin of that version. This is probably going to be a bundle. The oh wow, I love the owl shelves. That is that is actually sick. Got a couple banners. Wow, they literally spoiled every single premium shop item in this. I don't even need to do a leak video now. This Digimon Light Valley leaked it all already. I bet there is still items they didn't leak. The outfits look sick. Okay, the outfits look very, very different and original. So I, I'm definitely going to be getting these. They look amazing. This dress is fire. All right. There it is. The trailer. Free update available now. Download for free. Unless you... Uh, only if you bought the base version. So yeah, that, that's one thing. There is a little bit uh, more news. Now, there's a blog post about the update on the Disney Dreamlight Valley website, and I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to read the parts that are actually new and interesting. The Star Path features a shorter runtime and reduced number of rewards, reflected in a discounted premium tier cost and number of duties. Oh, so, so there's less duties. As we build up to more content releases later this year, but don't let that fool you. It's full of Rockstar re realness and high-quality collectibles. It ends on November 13. Wait, what? Okay, that does not make sense. It says here it ends on November 13, which would be a much shorter star path. It would only be five weeks. But, but, if you go in the game and you go to event, maybe it's, maybe it's a mistake because... It literally says ends in 48 days, which would definitely not be November 3rd, whatever. This makes no sense. I think they messed something up. I, I, I'm going to guess that this timer is wrong and probably going to get adjusted. And I would probably trust their blog post instead because uh, it, it was meant to be a shorter star path. Otherwise, reduction in rewards and pages would make no sense. So... I guess it is ending November 13th. So that means that potentially the next update can come on November 20, which would be like the usual schedule week after the Star Path ends. So that is exciting. So it is going to be a shorter update after all. Don't forget to use the code DDV2024 0000 in game. And uh, I don't know what this thing is but uh basically all of the letters have to be capital otherwise it's not gonna work it's an incredible backpack so definitely definitely grab it oh yeah th th they uh they made it clear that ddv 2024 are numbers but then five o's capital letter o's here is the the sneak peek uh, uh, at the the mickey pumpkin that we're gonna be getting during the event later this month october 23 we're, we'll be able to unlock all of the previous items, which you can unlock right now. Everything that doesn't require gifting gifts, you can do right now. You can harvest pumpkins, you can eat candy, you can give candy to villagers and claim the rest of the pumpkins. Cannot wait to get this one. This looks pretty cool. There's gonna be This is going to be a new craftable furniture item. Probably requiring some candy buckets. Oh, wait, not the wrapping paper. Wrapping paper is Christmas event. Yeah, the, the candy buckets. That's what I meant. Now, this is exciting. Need the perfect Halloween costume. We've got you covered. All players can look forward to claiming an Evil Queen costume for free. Thank you. So, the, if you remember, it was glitched in, in the previous update. It appeared in the Scrooge store for a lot of people. So, a lot of people managed to get it for free, even though it was originally meant to be a premium shop item. So, I'm glad to see that they, they're making it right and giving it for free to everybody because otherwise it would be pretty unfair. Now, it's kind of interesting how they say community-driven features and list the the, butterf uh, the like the wings gliders here. I have never seen a single person mention this feature. I think it came out of nowhere for absolutely everyone. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm super happy it came because it's, it's such a cool feature, it's such a small thing. But it uh, makes it so much more fun to glide around the valley because it looks like you're flying. 
So I, I, I'm glad it's here. I just, I'm just not sure if that was a, the most requested community feature. Also, never forget the task at hand. I tested it out. Um, I am grateful that it's there. It's good to have it, but it's, it's not very useful to me because you can only, you can only pin one task. My whole point was to be able to see all of the current Dreamlight duties on the screen at all times and potentially all of the current Starpath duties. That would be helpful. Being able to put one of... The, like, if you're working on one of them, you can keep it in mind. You can remember one task. But the point is to have... If you have multiple tasks, like in Dreamlight duties or Starpath duties... The point is to have them all on screen and potentially even be able to claim them from the screen without needing to go back into the menu every time you want to claim it. So they would refresh automatically. That was, at least that was how I envisioned this feature. That's how it would be extremely helpful. And it's still helpful for some very large tasks. I guess it could be good or for crafting recipes, but I do don't see it being helpful for grinding Starpath or Dreamlight duties since you have to go back in the menu to pin every single task. And at that point, you might as well just work on that task from memory because it's only one task. Anyway, that is that is it. That is the blog post. Uh, pretty exciting. Now let's take a look at my Dream Snap results, which are probably going to be pretty, pretty disappointing, but hopefully not. So, uh, so yeah, this is my uh, full submission on my main account. I'm extremely happy with how it turned out. It's super colorful. It's uh, It looks good. I think I would absolutely get 4K for this, but I could be wrong. And I'm guessing the rank is going to be probably top 1000. I don't know. I just feel very confident in my submission. Let's take a look. Uh, rewards. Boom. 4K rank 581. Let's go, baby. We're back in top 1000. And starting up a new 4K streak since it got broken last week. But that is... That is sick. That is really high. This is even better than I expected. Thank you so much for voting. I'm super happy. Uh, definitely gonna need the Moonstones for the Premium Shop review. Let's check out my second account. Alright, loading up my account. Uh, my second account for the first time in the update. Also, I just realized I just hit 100,000 Moonstones on my second account. That is such a huge, huge milestone, and yet I'm not even allowed to, to spend them. Oh, interesting. I did not get this preview on my main account. Okay. Oh, I'm liking like crazy, I guess because I have two versions of the game running at the same time. Anyway, not important. Uh, if you're wondering why I look like Amish, because uh, that was my last dream snap. Anyway, let's see if, I, if we got the results. Ooh, I'm lagging so bad right now. So if you remember, I actually did this submission on one of the live streams, and I was extremely happy with how it turned out. It's an extremely blinding shot, uh, insp inspired by Nolan's submission, and uh, I don't know if it's going to do well. I honestly don't know, because uh, I did not get the perfect placement for Mirabelle. She was supposed to be in the middle, but I just couldn't make it happen. So hopefully people liked it. If I were to guess, I probably got 4K. If I get, uh, if I were to guess the rank, I would guess maybe 3,000. That's my guess. Let's see if I'm right. Today I've been pretty on point. Oh my god. Okay. Still got 4K, but rank is 9,000. See, if my Mirabelle was in the middle, that would be a top 100 submission. Uh, just kidding. It, it wasn't that great. I, I really enjoyed making it, though. It was a lot of fun, so I'm I'm more than happy to get free 4K here. All right, that was fun. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Double 4K week for me today. I'm pretty excited. Uh, next goal to reach 200,000 Moonstones on my second account. And I hope you guys got 4K as well, or maybe even higher. Uh... Yeah, I'm excited to get the Evil Queen outfit as well. I am I was a little bit upset that I didn't get it in the Scrooge Shop, but now it seems like we're going to be getting it in the our inbox for free very soon. Thank you so much for all of our awesome supporters. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Subscribe for more and enjoy the update. Take care, my friends.